Stay tuned for the latest in high-tech tackle and game-changing lures for your four-season fishing success. This is your Angling Connection, the pro's choice. Hey, this is Mike Mahanik and Brad Richardson from The Pro's Choice today. And our topic today is new products. And we've got a new product for you today from Pradco and the Bandit line. Uh, it's a walleye bait. And Brad, this is your bailiwick. Uh, we're talking <laughs> walleye fishing. I know these uh, elongated uh, walleye minnow shaped baits have been very popular. And they've done a lot with these uh, lips to make them a lot more uh, uh, make them navigate in pretty deep water now. Yeah, yeah, what do they go, 27 feet deep, I believe is what it is. I believe this is 25 to 27 feet 25 on this one, yeah. Obviously depending on the line and, and right, how I far think... back if you're trolling and whatnot, all those different things play, mm -hmm. a, play a role mm -hmm. there, but uh, the bandits in general have played a really strong role yeah. like in Erie. Yeah, th this was based on uh, the Bandit Walleye Deep was the design for this, and they pretty much stayed with that bait, uh, in my understanding, uh, but there's a very unique addition to it. Yeah, I mean, the uh, the addition of the glow stick now. Glow stick. Uh, I think that's, you know, I, personally, I think it's going to play a role not just at night, like, you know, but... Uh, but I think even in, in the depths, you know, you lose light at certain depths, so I think... Dirty can, water, too. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. I think it definitely can help, but... Uh, uh, these baits, you know, the rattle that they have in it has been a key factor that plays in Erie. Mm -hmm. uh, but now having the uh, glow sticks in there as well is obviously right. going to be another good thing. Well, they're notorious night feeders, but we're get, uh, the whole concept here is to bring more uh, elements of attraction into this bait. And uh, the colors are certainly unique. Uh, I know you've seen that evolution of walleye colors and uh, boy we've uh, we've certainly gone beyond match the match the hatch concept haven't we yeah that doesn't really play a role I don't yeah. think but I mean they do have some natural uh, colors here which are really nice they got the clear and then and then uh, they got this one here that uh, is very neutral and natural uh, what color is that what do they call that the uh, sandstorm and uh, you know that's a good color and when you're getting into more clear water you know I've actually used this one casting and uh, works really well for that. But getting back to the colors, you know, uh, you get out to Erie and, it, and it's almost comical at all the different names that they've come up with over the years, yeah. you know, uh, for all these different baits. But it obviously, it, it plays a role. It's important. You know, you get out on the water and you got your network of guys and you're basically, you know, collaborating and trying to figure out what it is today, What's what color is, what color is gonna work, you know, yeah. because every day yeah. the water's a different color. Uh, the sun's different, the clouds, everything's playing a role, different time of day, moon phase, there's all these different things. And right. so you just gotta get out there and try it. Uh, try different uh, lengths as far as far back as you're gonna be. Um, you know, are you using added weight to get it down? Uh, there's so many different variables, but that's the nice thing about networking with guys and trying all these different colors until you come into one that works. And these colors today, you know, just uh, you know, beyond uh, beyond the colors of the rainbow, uh, but part of the concept, as I understand it, with these glow sticks, uh, Pradco has uh, developed this uh, or used, I should say, this ABS technology and developed this uh, this uh, body uh, for when the paint is applied, uh, the glow stick is illuminating. The, the different colors. You, you don't just have a simple green stick or an orange stick that is uh, you know, uh, flashing that specific color and nothing else. You're actually bringing out the colors in that bay. Yeah, well, I mean, we've tested it to see you know, how much glow it actually gives off, you know, and, and uh, you know, we've charged them and, and put them in and gone in a dark room and you can actually see not just where the sticks are at, like you said, but it actually is illuminating, you know, most of the bait. Now, uh, as we were playing around with these baits, you kind of, uh, uh, we both uh, uh, found that initially we had some difficulty with those sticks, but I think you uh, figured the trick to this, at least uh, a trick in order to get that, the most out of the colors from that phosphorescent glow stick. Right, which is real important, and we're gonna share how to do that here in a second. Yeah, let's do that. As Brad's getting the pliers to show you uh, how to put these 
uh, glow sticks in. Just wanted to mention that in each pack you get not only uh, a packet of glow sticks, removable glow sticks, but there's also a tool, uh, the glow stick removal tool. It's very simple, but it's essential as well. It's made to the proper diameter so you can uh, either just uh, position this stick perfectly into the body of the bait or afterward after it's lost its glow which is 10 to 12 hours on average uh, you, you, to remove it you'll utilize this tool. You know the glow sticks come in the packet but you can also purchase uh, replacement glow sticks uh, for and they right under the bandit label so you look for those and here's the package that they're currently using there's also some instructions on the back the uh, the what we call it well, they call it a bend and shake. We call it the break and shake because we try to get that uh, a little more pressure than a, than a slight bend is what we've discovered is necessary to get that phosphorescence glowing. Uh, Brad, show him. Uh, since we've had some, we tried them before. He's going to show you. Can you show us how to uh, remove those first? Yep, yep. So just using the removal tool specific for this, all you got to do is just poke, push it out, pull it out, discard of it that's it pretty simple okay simple tool but uh, you, you need it okay now uh, we've got some glow sticks right here you can see these uh, these small cylinders uh, uh, but uh, Brad just uh, show us how you've uh, been uh, using these and uh, uh, bringing out that uh, phosphorescence yeah well initially the very first time I tried to do it it was cold out it was nighttime and uh, tried to break it and I thought it was really hard to do yeah. and, and it didn't feel like it really uh, glowed that much and I was a little concerned about that. I had know? the same experience. I did, wasn't getting a full glow on that. It looked, actually looking into that chamber, I could see that it just didn't feel, seem like it was all activated the first time. Right, well, and I was starting to think that, uh, you know, maybe it was because it was cold out, but then we've done it in, in the case. warm and it's still, yeah. it's, it's hard to crack with your, with your hands. It's such a small, you know, deal. So mm -hmm. uh, we, we played around with it, did some different things, and ultimately the uh, it works very well with the needle nose pliers. I crimp it, you know, firm but not over tighten on one side, and then I shift it 90 degrees and do it again a little bit, not over squeezing it because you can crack it, break it, and have stuff on you. Okay. And then, uh, you know, from, once you do that, then shake yeah. it up. Shake it up. And actually insert it and shake the whole bait as well. Yep. And then with this, you can just push and get it all the way in by hand. You don't need the tool for that. And Unless you've just dist uh, distended that by squeezing it too much, the second reason to be careful with the uh, with the pliers. Yeah, if you squeeze on it too much, you create what a little oblong shape, yeah. and then it's not going to sit in there Looks real nice. Slot. You know, and, and might not stay stuck in there. So, but uh, as long as you do. Do it that way, you know, you'll be fine. Now we've got uh, two pl uh, two points, uh, position points for the for the glow sticks. We've got one toward the head, the, the upper portion of the body, and there's a second one toward the tail section. Yep. Uh, let's uh, why don't we repeat that. Let's get this uh, this bait glowing, and then we'll uh, we'll see if we can dim the lights and uh, catch a bit of that glow. Okay. That's the break portion of the break and shake, or as they call it, bend and shake, but uh, we've been a lot more effective with the break and shake. There we go, and you can hear that rattle as well. Remember, that's uh, you're using that, those auditory alerts here, and then you've got the glow stick. Elements that help uh, the fish zero in on that bait and, bait, and of course there's the action itself. That was That's the initial trigger, and uh, even without the glow sticks, you still have a uh, a very effective trolling bait or casting bait. So again, that's uh, here it is. Uh, take a look at the banded generator. I think it's going to be a hot, hot bait. In fact, the initial response to this bait was fantastic. We heard uh, a lot of uh, dealers uh, clamoring for this bait. Note the colors, note the ABS plastic, uh, the glow stick, how to activate those glow sticks, shake them up, or the, uh, the break and shake uh, principle is at work here. Uh, take a look at this uh, at a rainbow of colors, beyond the rainbow of colors, I think it'd be better to say. Uh, note that you have uh, glow sticks in that packet and that removal tool. Try this bait, 
Brad, I think it's going to be one of the hot sellers this year. I'm excited to use it. I can't wait to get it out on, on the water and see what you can do. I mean, not just with trolling, but uh, night casting for yeah. walleyes. You know, yeah. I think it's going to definitely be a, a good one. So That open water season can't come fast enough for us. So uh, that's our new product alert for this week. Uh, stay tuned to the Pro's Choice, all of our tips, tactics, and introductions to new products. Yeah, and if, uh, if you like what you see, please like, subscribe, and share. Let's spread the word. Let's get this angling connection out there. And uh, we appreciate you joining us. Until next time, keep getting bit. All right. <laughs>